I'd heard of um, uh, the parent company Wikimedia, like we all have, um, because of the, the, the great fame and um, the fact that we all know about Wikipedia. Um, so I had a phone call one day, I had a message left on my mobile phone from a gentleman called Roger Bampkin, and he said he was from Wikipedia, and I thought it was a joke, you know, I was happy to disregard it. But he was quite persistent. But eventually I caught up with Roger Bampkin, who is indeed the chairman of Wikimedia UK, and he just sold to me the most compelling vision for a new product that they wanted to create called QRpedia. And I was just blown away um, by talking to this really dynamic guy for half an hour who had all these fantastic ideas. And what was more surprising for me was that they wanted Monmouth Town, our Monmouth Town, not Monmouth in New York or North America or Australia, to actually be the test bed for um, a new QR or quick response code town. Um, you know, immediately I was interested by that because Monmouth is a fantastic place. So many natural assets, you know, the local people are fantastic, so many rich stories to tell and a great wealth of history. So the fact that tourists could come into our town centre, scan these barcodes and immediately be transported back in time to the history of the Chartists, um, to learn about the evolution of the town, the very rich heritage, was just so fantastically compelling. We had to do it. My name's John Cummings. Uh, I started Monmouthpedia, which is the first Wikipedia town in the world. Monmouthpedia is the first Wikipedia project in the world to cover a whole town, working with the museums, the library, the schools, local community groups and individuals, as well as Wikipedians online. What we're doing is we're encouraging people to uh, write articles about things in Monmouth and then we're going to have QR codes around the town. As Wikipedia residents, I teach people how to edit Wikipedia. I run the Monmouthpedia website. I teach people how to make QR codes. I scan in photos of people and show them how to scan themselves. A bit, a bit of everything, really, whatever's needed. So we use special sorts of QR codes called QRpedia codes, which let you access the articles in your own language. So all you need is a uh, smartphone, with a QR code reader on. You just go up to the QR code and it scans the QR code and it brings up the article that you've scanned. Working with the council has been great. It's, uh, they've been supportive all the way through. They've been very forthcoming with resources and people and time. They're setting up Wales' first Wi-Fi town because of this project. I, I think that's amazing and they're really putting a lot of time and effort into it. I'm Mike Booth, I'm the general manager here in the Shire Hall in Monmouth. What we've been doing is looking at the various aspects of how we actually deliver this project. It's about being able to get people to enable them to have access to the information. Not everybody knows what a QR code is, not everybody has smartphones and the technology, but also it's the technical side, making sure that we've got the Wi-Fi so that we've got all the facilities in place so people can access the information. And one of the great things that we've been able to do is to put forward a project which will have Wi-Fi for the whole of Monmouth Town. Everybody in Monmouthshire County Council is so committed to doing better things. We don't want to do things better, we want to do better things. And I think straight away this project appealed to us all because it meant that you know, we really could showcase Monmouthshire on a worldwide stage. We don't want to just showcase Monmouthshire within Wales or within the UK. We've got such a unique offer. We really want to get out there and show the world what we have.